Stevie J, Mufasa Jones. Let's get it on here in the NFC South. And like you said, Stevie J, he had a tough game against Shuds, though. Things went his way. Mustafa just handedly beat Manu Ginobili, <laughs> but he has had a tough game here in this tournament. His previous match was up against FMB Killer Cam, and he won that one 2017 and OT. So he's already had a sweaty hell game that he's had to go through. See what happens here. Also beat Chiggs. 27-9 on that one, though. So they'll set up their audibles, and we'll get ready to go. Buccaneers, Falcons, no love lost between these two teams. And only one can come out of the NFC South. Decline this penalty. And it's something interesting about Musafa, about three years ago, I was at an underground tournament in Las Vegas, and Madden veteran Delph, who doesn't really play much competitive now, but he, he was good back in the day, he introduced me to Musafa, and he said, G, keep your eye out on this young buck. He's going to make some noise. And it took him a few years, but here he is. So, Delph, you were right about this one, man. So, first and ten. I love it when I get those messages. <laughs> I get a lot of messages, guys. Like, Archie, remember my name. You're going to see me next. Yeah, I love when guys call their shot like that, man. Falling forward to the 35. Going to see a lot out of Herschel Walker, out of Stevie J. It's a 93 legend. Huge for the Cowboys. Yeah, and if you're in the NFC, you want to pay attention to this game to see if Musafa has the defense to stop this run game because it is, I, I dare I say, the best run game currently in the circuit. I mean, he's just so consistent with it. Got nothing there. Third and inches now at the 35. Musafa. I mean, it might as well be third and an inch. He's right on top of that first down marker. Good Gets time. to the line to gain and more. Pushing his way to the 46. Yeah, I like the dive in that situation. You don't want to toss. You get the ball too deep in the backfield. Good play call by Stevie. And turns it into a big game. That Herschel Walker's doing some work, huh? Yeah, Derrick Henry and Herschel Walker so far. Maybe sprinkle in some McKinnon. Have been the three backs of note thus far over the last couple days. Picks up a yard there. Four carries for 22 for Herschel. I mean, Stevie is a psychology major at UCF. You think he's got any mind game tricks he plays with his opponents? There is a reverse in football. I don't I mean, there is reverse <laughs> psychology. I don't know if we're going to see an end around. That's more what Drag's going to be pulling off in his game versus Kane. There's the pitch. Room. And Herschel. Spins at the 44, and they're going to give him the first down. Secure tackler, man. That's an ability of once those guys get your hand on you, you're not going to be able to truck them or get an auto-broken tackle. The only way to get by those secure tacklers, really, is you need to fake them out with a juke or a spin move or just outwork them with that left stick. Or spins his way to the 40. It's going to be second and seven. Minute 45 already gone by on this opening drive for Stevie J. And here's the thing about salary cap, as Herschel is dead tired right now, and none of these players ever invest in a backup running back hole train. They always spend their cap to just beef up as much as they can for those starters. So now he's got to run with a tired Herschel Walker. That's going to be scary. Yeah, you can see the hands on the hips, and he can't get on the outside of Bo Jackson, who's playing out of position. That cornerback. Yeah, you would love to give these guys more cap and salary cap and have them, you know, get some backups, spend it, you know, get some more depth on your roster. But they but don't the, do that. The problem is every <laughs> time you give them more cap, they just want to spend it it's on the for the for the one formation they want to run. What happened to trying to run a little nickel, a little dime, some 4-3? No, everyone just wants to stay in the one personnel grouping on both offense and defense. You can see the hands on the hips. The meta. Deep breathing for Herschel. Oh, oh, the air. It's a one-hand user lurk. And Mufasa continues to play incredible defense. That's Brown with a one-handed pick. Mufasa Jones. Young Jamal Daniels, 22 years old. 
repping his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. Going up against, up against his buddy Stevie J, and he makes a big play. Stevie needs to regain his composure here. He look, oh, he look, he's pissed about that one. It's a methodical drive, and so now Mufasa will set his audibles. So let's go for an update with Dave and Rico. We are on the board over here, fellas. Drag with the end around. Too easy. 7-0. He is up on Canes early. Almost two minutes left in the first quarter. Back to you guys. So Musafa has an opportunity here after the turnover. He's been really tough. Hey, Delph tried to warn me. To keep your eye out on him. It took three years, but... Here he is, and he's rocking. I've been going full Lion King on him. Call him what a good movie back when you were a kid, huh? We are here in Disney, so. Hey, man, right? Fits. It's, it's, it somehow has it, seeped its way in. I mean, he is Mustafa, but you just can't help it sometimes. you got to <laughs> sneak in the Mustafa. You just can't help it. Big dot right there, right there. First down. So Mustafa on the move. Ball at the 25. Look at the hair on these guys. Crispy fade right on, there. Yeah, on fleek. Stevie got a good set of lettuce right there. I can only dream. It's been a long time <laughs> since RG and I can talk anything of hair. <laughs> Those days passed us up a long time ago, my friend. I've never had a set of lettuce like Stevie does over there. And a good move by Walker. Walker's been the key, but you mentioned he got tired. Stevie had to go to the air, and that's when he got lurked. So attempts. Walker's now doing business on both sides, as we've seen the majority of the day. Yeah, and these EMB guys, they'll probably use a lot of the same players. Like, when you're in the camp, that's what you do. You constantly, you know, people are practicing things, you're sharing information, and you need people around like that because you only have so many hours in the day to practice. And Madden's just like football. You run what you practice. So if somebody can go and work on some things for you and fly it in and then you go work on it, save you a lot of time, especially when it comes to scouting players like the Herschel Walker. Getting those scouting reports and having people you can go to for that advice is such a big deal, and I think it plays a lot into EMB success. Look at that controller again. I, lo I love the Stevie J controller. It's a missed truck by Walker on Joey Bosa for Musafa. Double tight end. Musafa Jones. Big play here. This is going to be the difference between if he goes for the touchdown or a field goal. He's got Walker on a wheel route, but he goes to the back of the end zone yeah, for go. Delaney Walker. Touchdown. Musafa and he's trying to yell but he can't he's got no voice left I ate some lunch with him Coltrane I, I, I told him hey I'll, I'll buy you a sandwich what do you want and he I'll take the chicken and he, he's got nothing left but a lot of passion left in that young man kick is up and it is good and the Falcons with a 7-0 lead over Stevie J and the Bucks. And for a young guy, he can eat, man. He put down the lamb gyro, no big deal. We had an extra chicken gyro on the table that was kind of for the community. Who wants it first? And Musafa was the first one to go for it, and he put it down, no problem. Back-to-back -back gyros. So are you a gyro or a gyro? Gyro. You go gyro. Yeah. I call it a gyro. All huh? right. With the tzatziki sauce, it's good stuff. First and ten. Walker doesn't get much. Looks like that'll be the final play of the first. Here at a 7-0 game. Winner's going to represent the NFC South in Minnesota. One thing that you got to remember here, though, is the game is most likely more important for Musafa because his ultimate league life relies on this. Stevie J's probably good for ultimate yeah, he's league. In. But at the same time, you still want to represent your club. There's a lot of money on the line. But definitely more pressure for Musafa Jones than there is for Stevie J. Start of the second quarter. Trailing by a touchdown, Stevie J on a drive. Has B. 
And Landry, the juice is loose down to the 44. And, and just the paint, big play by Stevie. Let's get to this replay, rolls out. Mariota stops, sets his feet. I like when you stop and set your feet when you roll out before, so you don't throw on the run. But just to put it in perspective, both these players have made 7,500 so far in this tournament. The winner of this game is going to guarantee themselves 10,000 and that trip to Minnesota. Side of the Super Bowl, Pats and Eagles. Who else from the Madden world is going to join them? And that's fun. We had a good time out there at oh. that Super Bowl last year. Yeah, in Houston, with, with no with, doubt. No doubt. You're at all the festivities. You get all kinds of access. And when Dubby won the Madden Ball, they had him at the NFL Honors. Oh, yeah. He was out there hanging out with Randy Moss and all the legends. It was, you get some cool opportunities if you can be good at John Madden football. And there goes Walker. Oh! He's got room at the 10, 5, touchdown, Stevie J. How good is Stevie J's run game, Coltrane? He sticks with it, he's consistent with it, and you just constantly see him breaking big run after big run. So this is the tie it up. It's up and it is good, and we are knotted up at seven. Here with a minute gone by in the second quarter. And he's got good run blockers. What he does is he, he tanks the guard positions, but then he puts some high overall guards at the tackle position to help him set off that edge for him when he pitches. He's at that 85 overall Kevin Zietler and then the 85 overall Zach Martin. And you can see those Grizzlies doing some blocking up front and Walker does the rest. Mustafa will start at the 30 yard line. Those are the Mutt Hero version, Scott. And yeah, they get that extra little boost in what they're good at which in this case is being good on the line. Yeah, some good run blocking right there. Some beef up front. That Rodney Hudson, I mean, you can power him way up. He, he's legit. Yeah. He's a motivator as well. But just the mutt hero from here. And there is Marvin Harrison. So back-to-back -back good plays for Musafa. Look at all that time. Finds his final read and picks up the first down. Four for four, 69 yards. Bunch to the left, Harrison to the right. Feeling comfortable now. You maybe want to use a little time before the half. And these matches are always like this. When you got two guys that are so familiar with each other that are close, just back and forth, back and forth battles. Both players are going to have trouble pulling away in this one. Remember, it's going to come down to the wire. And Musafa Jones will get the ball to start half number two. So if you can get a score before the half and then come out in the third quarter, that might be enough separation you need. Yeah, it's a big deal. 2.30 to go. Three timeouts each. Mariota to Harrison, and he's got it at the 15. 89 yards now, five for five for Marcus Mariota, the snow beast. Yeah, Musafa looks comfortable out there. He's making good reads. He's not throwing into traffic. This guy's got good separation. He's going to take this to the two-minute warning. So two minutes to go in the half. 15 yards to pay dirt for Musafa. Stevie J, you got to wonder, did his family stick around? Are they still in attendance? Father Steve Sr., Mom Annette, cheering on their son, and as they should be, because he's done some fantastic things this year on the sticks of John Madden football. There's the motion, there's the handoff. Oh, Great block, and Musafa! Takes the lead again. Herschel Walker doing work for both these guys. Musafa, beard game on point. Said the crispy fade. You look good, feel good, you play good, as Kip would say. He's in control. And this is going to be a huge drive for Stevie J. Like you said, Coltrane, 
Kusafa gets the ball to start the second half. He's up seven. Here's Stevie J. You need to go down there and get some points. Or at the very least, not let Musafa get the ball back with this minute 56 and let him get additional points. This is going to be a crucial drive. This is critical to the game right now. Ball now to 33. Look at this again. The blocking. Whoa. Then a nice little dip inside. Yeah, his stick work looks good. It's a good run. Way to follow the holes. Get out in space. First and 10 at the 33, Stevie J trailing by seven, hands it off to Walker, and Walker gets bottled up. Check with Dave and Rico in our other game. Thanks, Scott. Drag jumped out to the early 7-0 lead. Rico, Keynes is from Chicago. They're gritty. He wasn't going to lay down like that. Yeah, not at all. He wanted to make sure he got seven to keep pace with Drag. He made some time for himself, couldn't find what he wanted, but lived to play another down. That's right, nice little out route right there for the touchdown. They are tied 7-7. Drag has the ball back and is driving back to you guys. So that's what's going on in the <laughs> NFC North. Over here in the NFC South. It's a seven-point game. Ball at the 34. I like how Musafa doesn't pace the line. You see how his defense is aligned directly over those receivers? Ooh. I think that would, that in itself is what has led to a lot of interceptions for him in this tournament. Because you got guys just sort of on the snap, they're going all over the place. Yeah, all, and the thing it does the most, Coltrane, is it really helps stopping the run sometimes. Because you don't, ba what baseline will do is it'll really mess up the run fit. That's right. Of your players. But when you don't base the line and you let them go in their default positions, they're going to play their gaps on the run a lot better, especially that forced defender whose job it is to seal that edge. That's one thing that people don't know about the baseline is, it, sure, it's very high powered. It, it helps a lot. You obviously used a lot, but it is going to hurt you with those run gaps. You see him shifting those linebackers. That's really one of the few adjustments Edward, that he makes. And the people that wait for this first down good read by Stevie and big play on the fourth down but to, to keep continue on the point one thing that that allows you to do with the base align look at that replay first down and as we've been doing for the latter part of today we'll go right through halftime once again seems to be a favorite of not only RG but those out there watching Keep it going. Uh, I'm sorry, Scott. I, I want to finish the point sure. on, on the baseline. For the guys that are able to stop the run when they base the line, they primarily do it by running through the gap manually and making the play. Where when you don't base the line, your guys are just more natural in position and you don't got to rely as much on your user. Sorry, that was the point I was trying to make. No, that's a great point. Third and nine. Of course, if people are like, well, what's run fits and how do I check out my run fits? That's key to do pre-snap. Yeah, I think it's just up on the, the, just holding the right trigger, left on the right stick. Third and nine. Ball at the 49. Clock's ticking. You got to have some more urgency here. Does have three timeouts. They're sharp. Now to the 41. He's trailing by seven. And now here comes a fourth and inches. Oh, gosh. This is huge. Two timeouts apiece now. He's already snuck in some big fourth down plays. I was too busy talking about baseline. We're ready for this one, Coltrane. Big play right here. And Herschel gets to the second level and picks up the first down. Yeah, and it's hard to shoot the gaps on this tight slots formation. You see Musafa right there, but you never know. Is the dive going to go left? Is it going to go right? And not only that, you got to respect the pitch as well. This is a really hard formation to shoot gaps on and stop the run. It's that symmetrical formation that we talk about. Oh, Gives you so oh, many options, and that should have been picked. Oh, Night Lord. Train Lane had it in his mitts. Stevie threw a Stevie. Almost paid for it. Wow. Oh, Lord. And that's Night Train Lane. You don't see him not make that play often. Oh, gee. 
That's the Madden Blitz, 95 overall, Night Train Lane. Oh, he's got to make that play. Detroit Lion legend. He makes a lot of plays. He's got that secure tackler. Oh, and there's Stevie! a block. And how many times have you seen that where a guy drops an interception and then here comes a big play? Yeah, it's known in competitive Madden that that's, the, you know, the theory. <laughs> you drop the interception. Conspiracy, you're gonna give up maybe. Points. You're going <laughs> to give up points. If you drop two on a drive, you're giving up a touchdown. And with Good three kick. ticks left, that'll end the half. Four point game, 14 to 10. Here in the NFC South with the Falcons and Musafa with the lead. Let's. Take a quick look over at what's going on in the NFC North with Drag and Canes. It's just a three-point game here, RG. Big play here. Yeah, we come in right on the four-yard line. Canes looking to get a touchdown and take the lead here. Drag, another member of EMP, by the way. So out of the four players playing right now, three of them are a part of that EMP crew, which is headed by Joke, recently signed with Echo Fox, one of the more popular eSport organizations. That was a big deal for Madden. You can see Derrick Henry, some fatigue there if you look at the play selection screen. Third and goal from the two, and no toothpick. Yep, and no backup running back. I told you about the toothpick. There's no way that was the one <laughs> from lunch that you were trying to tell me earlier. I've dealt with toothpicks before. This is it's not happening. Stretching it out to Henry, and he stopped at the four-yard line. And a field goal will tie it. Great stop there by Drag. Yeah, you got to take your three. You take your three, Scott. You don't settle for it. No. Josh Scobie, the legend for the <laughs> Jags, did not like it when we said that. So 10-10 to 10 here. And we got a ball game on the other side, too. And both of these battles that try to be their divisional winners. And Stevie J is on a drive to open up the third against Musafa. Well, Musafa was getting the ball to start the second half. So Stevie had to enforce some sort of turnover. Action all over the place. We can't keep up with it all, Coltrane. Handed off to Walker. Take a look at how this all happened. Musafa throwing an interception. It's a user pick along the sideline by Ronnie Lott. That's how he got to here. And that was a nice interception. He clicked on and cut underneath that corner route and made the play himself. Impressive stick work by Stevie. Rolling out, throwing oh! it into coverage. Oh! This is the point where I mentioned there is no pass interference in Mutt. Oh, man. Look at him. He clicks on and cuts underneath himself. Almost gets an interception. That was impressive. I don't think that was P.I. To me, that was impressive stick work. There is no P.I., so it's, yeah. it's a mute point. But it's going to be a field goal here. This will cut the lead to one. So he's had a kick back-to-back -back field goals, but it's now 14-13 to 13 here in the NFC South between the Falcons and the Bucks. I told you, Scott, that one, this one's going to come down to the wire. No doubt about it in my mind. Well, once you get to this part, sort of the round of 16, they're all hell games. Yeah. Oh, this entire tournament, no sweet games at all. You're going up against Let me just give you an example. If Problem and Drini both win their games, They'll play each other in the round of 16. Round of 16, problem, problem versus Dreamy. Problem versus Dreamy. Oh, boy. And there goes Herschel Walker. The truck. And tripped up. And that's going to be a good story going into tomorrow. You got Aaron Problem right. Everyone considers him the greatest Madden player of all time, fighting for his ultimate league life. Recently had a baby boy that he's, you know, wants to go secure the bag for. Go home to his wife, B, with the check. Then we also get to see Mike Skimbo tomorrow. 
defending that in classic champion in last year's MCS. He's playing uh, don't care about ice. Oh, and ice is <laughs> digging into him, man. Don't care about ice. I, I, I think it's don't care about skim because the way he's been talking to skim all week. Sounds like he's ready to take it to him, but easier said than done when you're dealing with Mike Skimbo. Second and 16. Usafo with a nice find to Marvin Harrison. Makes good reads. Six for seven. Only, only incompletions the interception. But I'm impressed with Musafa so far. He's made a lot of good reads. Solid game plan. Good stick work. We got a little bit of movement up front by Bosa. So that's going to be a... He's saying he's not on aggressive, but and I, it's aggressive jump. And what happens, Scott, is usually when you're on aggressive pass rush, you can get the defense to jump off sides easier. However, when you're on balance, the defense can still jump off sides. It's just a lot less likely. The only way to avoid them from having a 100% chance not to jump off side when you're on balance is your player needs to have the discipline penalty trait. Third and five. And it's a first. Oh! Oh, what a hit! Big time hit, and that'll bring up fourth down. Let's go over with the game break over in the NFC North. Drag has edged his way ahead in this one. He is now up 17-10. One of these guys going to be representing the NFC North in the Super Bowl. Scott RG, back to you guys. Appreciate that quick update. Let's see what's going on. 10 to 10 over there. We got 14 to. 13 over here and Musafa does pick up the first down and you can see the big time play that Dave was talking about over in the NFC North and it's you do you need red zone at this point. Yeah, it's so it's, much it's going wild. on. Every game is so big. Both of these games, a chance to get to Minnesota. Keep your tournament life alive. Extra 2500 bucks. Representing your club, walk away with some glory. And then think about it. You get to just enjoy the rest of the trip here at the Pro Bowl. You watch the action <laughs> That's tomorrow true. knowing you're going to Minnesota. You know, a lot of guys in the AFC were glad they didn't have to play today after a bunch of Madden yesterday. But you're right. If you can get the win, then all of a sudden you're in cruise control. Oh, it's so nice. You go home tonight. You get a nice victory dinner. You sleep in a little bit. You get to watch the Madden tomorrow. You go home, pack your bags. You're off to Minnesota for Super Bowl festivities. We're going to have some fun out there. First and 10, knee goes down at the 32. It's awesome that the kids get to, they get to go through this stuff. You use your passion to create once in a lifetime opportunities like going to the Super Bowl, the Pro Bowl, winning money, representing NFL teams. When I first started in this, Scott, when I was young, 16, 17 years old, I never thought it would get here. It's a beautiful thing to see. Oh, you worked it almost! It was right there. He's, and look at Stevie keeping it close. He said, you know what? Musafa dropped one earlier. Whew. Now I dropped one. We're even. That was one of the Boy, first I'm not sure that was, a, that was sort of a bang-bang bang play yeah, for both yeah. of the receiver and the defender. That's a good point, Scott. It wasn't as blatant as a drop. It's a good eye right there. Third and nine. You're like a hawk. He loves that in route. He's been working it, and this time it's to the 26. That's fourth and three. A field three. goal will make it four-point game. Yeah, it's going to take us three. You have to. So with 26 seconds. Remember, Steve, he's blocked the kick. See, that's right outside the accuracy window, so this can still get blocked. He got perfect at the top, but that's not perfect accuracy. It's up and it is good. Let's go over to the NFC North with Dave and Rico. Thank you guys. We've got Keynes inside the red zone. He is driving, trying to tie this thing up. Down seven, four and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Winner of this game, heading to Minnesota as the AFC North representative. Here we go. Keynes dropping back. Rolling left, sees him in the corner, possession catch for the touchdown. You have to really appreciate the way Keynes is playing right now. He is 13 of 14 right now. He is locked in, in the zone, going through his reads and progressions unlike no one else. 
And with the extra point, we are tied up here with four and a half minutes left. Kane's having one incompletion in arguably the biggest Madden game of his career thus far. Really speaks to his poise, speaks to the kind of kind of player he really is. I tweeted at him before this tournament even started. Word of the street has it. You're playing the best Madden football in the country right now. All he did was say, shh. <laughs> yeah, well, he's putting that on display right now. And now it's time to see if he can D up. Drag has put together a couple of prolonged drives in this game. He's done a nice job of controlling the ball as well. Let's see what Russell Wilson and the Packers offense here can do. I'll tell you this. Drag can't drag his feet getting in the end zone here. He's <laughs> running that ball, but he needs to make sure he gets seven. You don't want to give a Canes, a good, a good player as Canes, a chance to put seven on the board and win. Right, and you'll take a big play, obviously, but you don't necessarily want to be in a rush to go score here. Even if you get three, you get seven. You want to leave Canes as little time as possible. Both guys with all three of their timeouts. The clock is ticking down towards four minutes. A big second and six here for Drag. Sends motion right. Hand off to Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's a popular running back today. Yes, and he's been doing everything that Drag can ask of him and a little bit more. I'd love to see his yards after the first hit. Now I know how Scott and RG feel. There's some screaming happening <laughs> away from our game. Stevie J getting fired For somebody fired who's up. lost his voice, I've heard Musafa yell a couple of times. That's right. He's found it here. But speaking about yelling, look for Keynes to start screaming <laughs> at Drag as we get a little closer to the 50-yard line because he cannot allow him to keep just running the ball like this. Nice transition there. Very nice. Oh, Derek Henry's got some room to run. He stays on his feet. A huge gain up towards the 50. I, I told you. Those rushing yards after that first hit. Right All there, right, we will keep, you, will keep you posted on this game, tied up at 17. Let's get it back over to Scott and RG, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was a big time run by Stevie J. And of course, here we got a 17 17 game between Drag and Canes. We had 20 to 17 on the other side, RG. Just three minutes left in this one. Yeah, both of these games coming down <laughs> to the wire. It's, we're in the nitty gritty. The skill gap is so small between these players, they're all world class. It's going to come down to who wants it more and who can execute. So Musafa and Stevie J, it's 20 to 17. We're going to have to use our magic controller to go back and forth between these the rest of the way. I always enjoyed red zone. Second and three. Musafa with the ball trailing by a field goal. Draw. Hands it off. The delay will pick up the first down at the 35. 11 carries for 78 yards. Boy, all four of these players is completely locked in. Swap the bunch. First and ten. Mariota. Oh! And it gets lurked. Oh, Jesus. Stevie J came out of nowhere. Mustafa's been throwing the drag in the end route all game long. And look at Javorowski trying to keep his cool, but he knows he just balled out right there. What a poker face. Anthony Barr, yeah, have you heard of him? Madden legend. Walker on the pitch. That's 21 carries for 180 yards, two scores. And Stevie J right now with that lurk has a chance to possibly put this one away with a touchdown. Oh, Savage going to end this off the season. Walker to the 33 now. This is big for Musafa. You're still in this ball game. If you can hold him the three right here, present, prevent it from becoming a two possession ball game, you're all the way there. There's plenty of time. You got your timeouts. Just need to get stinged right now on D. Watch the pitch left or the dive. Pitch it outside. This time he cuts it back. Oh, oh, stumble. Saying first down at the 15 yard line. Take a look at it again. Think he's going to go outside, cuts it back. Boy, it's almost as if he would have delayed just a minute. He would have got an extra block there, and that would have sprung him for the touchdown. Yeah, going to the cribbo would have been huge right there. But now Stevie Jays is going to control this clock, and that's what's good about his offense. It's good for these situations because it's so prolific with the run that he's able to keep the clock moving and really put Musafa's back up against the wall. Look at this. Spin move. Look at this. After the 
User stumble recovery. And over on the other side is 17-7, 17-17. The kick is, yo, oh boy, just in there and drag with a three-point lead. Oh, gee, I thought he missed that for a second, Coltrane. It was right there on the post, but somehow sneaks its way in. One, one thing I'm noticing is people are relentlessly trying to block those kicks. It'll be interesting to see if anyone goes to the fake at some point in this So tournament. risky. I mean, don't so forget, So many though, overthrows we, on the fake. We saw Michael Skimbo watch the <laughs> tape, and he pulled that out sure. in last year's Madden Championship, and it ended up being the difference in him being able Had to win some Had to chase the points games. the rest of the way. Yes. So it, it's, it's a risky tactic, but it works. You just need to make sure you practice it. Second and three at the eight. We're at the two-minute warning. Stretching to the outside is Walker. And there's a timeout. This is pretty much the play of the game thus far. You get a stop, you hold them to a field goal, and you still got a chance. Yeah, this is huge. This is huge, Coltrane. Double tight end, sharp in motion. Going to run it again. Oh, and Walker get gets stuffed at the 10. Mustafa uses a timeout. So it's 20 to 17 RG in both of these games. And we're gonna simultaneously jump back and forth. Here's the field goal to make it a six point game. So 150 here on this side. We go over to the NFC North. Head right up the road. Oh gee. And Keynes oh. has it with 57 seconds left. He's got it at the 35. Oh, this is bananas. On the edge of field goal range. Bunch to the right, Jones to the left. Mariota in the gun. Has one timeout and somehow got it away. Wow. Those numbers by Kane, you told Rico talk about it earlier. 15 for 17. Playing prolific offense, but still finds himself down by three. See if he can clutch up. Second and ten now. Oh, A's open. Nope. Good read. And Jones. Goes to the 30. So now he's in field goal range. You have achieved tying this game up theoretically. Now can you go win it? Step over to the other game now. 23 to 17. Six point game in this one. 119 over on this side. We promise you we won't miss anything big. If we do, we'll show you a replay. Mariota. And there is Harrison. So now Musafa's at the 46. He's on a bread drive. Both of these guys are trying to win it. Here's Canes. This red zone stuff ain't easy, Coltrane. No timeouts here. This is interesting, RG. <laughs> it's going back and forth. And he's going to kick the field goal. He's going to run it down. Drag's going to be able to ice him. So what well, he's going to come back out. He's gonna. He could theoretically, maybe try to work him out of timeouts here. Yeah, he could have went for the fake. I think he had. He could have fake spiked it. I guess the timeouts didn't matter. And he's okay with it. We're tied here in the NFC North, 20 to 20. Let's go back down south to Stevie J and Musafa. Musafa's got the ball at the 32. He's got 29 ticks to go. No timeouts. Mariota barking out the orders. One game looks like it's headed for overtime. Can Musafa get a win here late? Told you this one was going to come down to the wire, Scott. Mariota needs a pocket. Steps back and oh my! Oh, Musafa! Oh, look at the emotion of Musafa. He knows he just stepped up big. Oh, yeah, beat your chest, Musafa. You deserve it. That was a clutch throw. That was huge. Keep your tournament life alive. And now the extra point to give him the lead. Threads the needle. Up and good. So Stevie J trailing by one point now. He does have three timeouts. Here at the beginning of overtime, we have drags and canes. And then don't forget, Stevie has three timeouts, like you said. He's got time over there in that seconds. game. 
everything going on right now is bananas. There's good games all over the place. It's intense in here, Scott. So 20 to 20, we're in overtime in that game. We're 24-23 on the other side. And Stevie J is going to have the rock, and he's going to have three timeouts on the left side. We got to go over here. We got to go to the fourth quarter game. We got to yeah, go to Stevie yeah, yeah. J. Musafa is fighting all day long. Now he's got 20 seconds to play defense and not let up the field goal. Stevie's going to use the timeout. So he's got the ball at the 30. He needs about, oh boy, how, how far do you think he needs? I don't know his kicker His kicker is, is Matt Prater. Second and seven at the 30. I'll give you a moment to think about it. Mariota. About 35 yards. High point to Rice, and you got to use another timeout. 11 seconds to go. Ball at the 43. Oh, this is insane. And Musafa, you threw that crispy dot. Amazing throw to take the lead. You don't want to let it go to waste. Your tournament life's on the line. Bunch to the right. Seconds. Landry to the left. 11 ticks to go, RG. This is insane. Ball at the 43. Look at their faces. They're dead serious. Got to get down there within the 40 to 35. Rolls out. Got to let it go. Rice is going to need some yards. He's at the 40. He's going to use a timeout. It's going to be a 57-yarder to win it if he knows the range. Matt Prater, Matt 88 overall. Matt Prater's got a boot. Oh, this is going to be nuts. Mustafa cannot ice him if he decides to kick it, and oh, he will. He's going for it. I couldn't see the kick arc. There's a chance he saw the kick arc. You see that arc when you first come out, Coltrane, it lets you see how deep you can yeah, kick it. And he's going to take the delay of game here. Yeah, yeah, I think the arc showed him that he doesn't have the leg power to do it. So he's going to take the delay, like you said, and have to chuck up a Hail Mary. Oh, my. I wish we could have seen where that was, but it must have been a yard or two short. It had to be short. And sometimes when it's right on the verge of it. Oh, you know you're going to hit the crossbar. You, you can't have that. You know you're going to hit the crossbar. And, and that's only if you kick it perfectly. So there's no room for error either. Boy, if Jerry Rice could have got another yard. And with no timeouts, that's the end of the game. Oh, you can't take Musafa, the delay of game the, with the it's runoff. It's the runoff. This one is oh, over the Falcons. Left the left by and Musafa Stevie. Jones are moving on. Oh, congrats to Musafa. Stevie's life's still alive, and we still got action. No time for celebrating.